Hello, hello, welcome everybody to another interview with Nexus Canada. In this occasion, I have the pleasure to have Sira Barometro, one of our clients in the past that have uh, fulfilled her dream coming to Canada. So, hello, Sira, how are you? Hi, Andy, I'm, I'm doing great. Yeah. Good, good. How's BC? How big is Columbia treating you right now? Oh, it's, it's beautiful out here. The weather, it's not, the weather is beautiful and the place. Oh, right. You should guys come here if you haven't. <laughs> I will. I have a reason to travel to British Columbia and live in Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, right now it's a little cold. The, the, the fall is already start getting the, the cold weather, but hopefully sometime I will visit British Columbia to say hi to Sira and enjoy that nice weather of British Columbia. Sure. <laughs> so basically the idea uh, is to know a little bit about Sira. And I want you to, to introduce yourself to the people that are going to be checking this. Uh, this video and telling me about yourself tell me how the interest of Canada started and, and then we're going to explore your adventure of everything that happened to you since you started thinking about Canada okay yeah so who is Sira Barometro so my name is Zaira I came from the Philippines and, uh, mm. yeah and uh, my, my 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 mom started this dream of you know the Canadian dream she started our journey in Canada, and then she wants everybody to come here in Canada, like the whole family. It happened that something happened to the um, the, the papers with that she wants to get as a family. So I, I went in a different path. So I came here as a student. I had a culinary course in Ottawa. I was in Algonquin for a year, and then um, I had but it was it was a very short just only for two years so nope. yeah two years because one year for school and then the, my my work visa and then i have to went home okay so, you went home but then yeah, you came yeah. back again eh? and we're gonna ask yeah, you later exactly. on how you did that yeah. <laughs> so but basically your mom was telling you about canada she, yeah. was in, she was in canada before you yeah she was she was here before us she was in hong kong and then she crossed country because I think that's that was the trend always. Mm -hmm. And her her sister, she has four sisters, and her the sister's family went here, and then she she came and she wants her, they want her to come here in Canada because big opportunity, you can get your family, things like that. So Saira, how do your mom came to Canada? She was working a, a nurse or any any job that she she found? was a nanny. A nanny, like, okay, as yeah. a nanny, okay, good, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So she came, she, like I said, I like this, I want my family to, you know, to come yeah. here. And then yeah. she, she mentioned that to you. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yes. So do you imagine before anybody in your family talking about uh, Canada before your mom? No. Like, no. For, 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 I think it started with her sister. Because in Hong Kong, it's... They, they want a, a better one, you know, you want, you dream of having a better future for your family. So her sister started the Canada, the Canada journey. And then she saw that we, there is a good opportunity here, you know, things like that. So she took all her sister from Hong Kong. They all, so they all went here in Canada. Okay. So when you listen to your mom and say, okay, mom, I like the idea. Let me just go to study. Let me go study in Canada. That's when you pick Algonquin College as the place to study culinary arts? Yes. Actually, I, I have no idea that I'm going to go for school. Uh -huh. It is my last thing, Andy, to do it, like to do <laughs> school again, because I graduated four years in college in, in the Philippines. And I was like, I'm done with school. I, I will never, ever do that again. But then because of what had happened to our papers, she needs to cancel us in their application as immigrants for the whole family. So I have no choice, I have to do it. Because okay. I really wanted, as for myself, I want. I really wanted to come here. Oh, okay. started, when I went to Hong Kong, like for a vacation, I realized that I really wanted to go out of the country. All right. like, I want to go, I, I want to be there somewhere. Yeah, so, that will happen when people travel out from, from their country. They say, like, okay, this is another word to see. I want to I want this. <laughs> yeah. so it happened when, to me also. Happened to yeah. me also. So when she told me that that's the only way, that's the only way that you can come here. So I was like, okay, fine. 
I'm oh, sorry. I was mm -hmm. like, I have to do it. I have no choice but to do it because okay. I really want to. So, uh, how was how was the experience side of with you? Was it when you came to Argon, came to Ottawa? How how was the experience studying in Canada? Because I know you're studying in the Philippines, but yeah. studying in Canada, how was the experience? Do you like it? Do you learn something? Do you like it? Tell me about it. The the study in, in in Canada it was overwhelming because new culture, new language, you really have to deal with it. New people around you, it was it was hard. It was tough. I remember one time. Um, it was an English class, and my professor would, was told, was telling us what's what are the expectation, what are the expectation after this semester, and she said that you have to report in the class to fit after like everything it was like after that day I was crying hard, crying. I was like I, I can't do this. I, I was like giving up, giving up. But you know because you wanted it, you're dreaming of it, and you are there. You yeah. you have to do it. Like there is no other way but to survive and just do it like every day, survive Maybe. every day. Yeah. My question for you is that before you come to Canada, uh, before you came to Canada, sorry, uh, your English level was like you studied English in the past or you let me study English because I want to come to Canada. What was the reason why you studied English? Oh, I have to take the IELTS exam, right? Coming here. Okay. I have to take the academic exam. My English is it's, it's bad. Like, I, I really have to push myself to do it. But I think I love the language itself. That's why I have, I, I push myself to do it and I learn the language. And um, yeah, I just help myself to do it because if you, if you wanted it, so you have to do it. That's it. So the, the message is like, oh, if, uh, I'm not very good in English. It doesn't mean that it's an excuse not to stop looking for your dream yeah. in Canada. Yeah. You can work your way, learn the language, yeah. push yourself like yeah. you did, and then yeah. you can you can accomplish it. Yeah. Okay. It is possible. Don't exactly. ever think it, don't ever think that it's impossible because it is possible. It is possible. Okay, that's good. Just don't give up. Just don't give exactly. up. Exactly. That, that's the message. Because some people say, "Oh, I'm not speaking English." So, yeah. yeah. Like, no worry. A lot of people have some basic hard. English. It doesn't mean you no. need to stop. <laughs> Just yeah. continue. Hard. Hard, it's tough, and there's so many people around you that you know make you feel that you cannot do it. It happened to me. It happened many times, but you know, you know to yourself, you just have have that. Just the do confidence, it. yeah, the confidence yeah. to do it. Yeah, that's good. And as you said, yeah, you find some people that are speaking. Oh my God, these guys are speaking so so well English. But also, you have people that tell you, oh no, sorry, continue. You're doing well. Keep yeah. on, keep on, keep on, and then you're okay. Some yeah. people believe in me. Let me keep yeah. on, keep on, keep on. Right? So that's, those that's are it. the people you just, you listen. The, they are the people that you need to listen. Not the people that you know that you cannot do it. Listen so to you then have experience in school, improve your English. Then you finish your class. You finish mm -hmm. your class. You have to work after graduation. You have a postgraduate work permit. Yes, I have a postgraduate work permit. I was only given a year for that. Yeah, because it was a one year program. Okay. Yes, it was a one year. And then when that year was finishing, you don't have no time to do the process, so you need to, no. to go back home. And, and you no. did that, yeah? Yeah, I have to I have to leave Canada because I cannot I can't stay. The visa was done. It was yeah. done, okay. And that's sometimes it happened because it's when you study a program that is so so short, one year, so sometimes your one year is not enough to, for you to do everything you want yeah. to do with the PR. But at least you have experience there. You work for a, a Canadian company, a restaurant, a restaurant chain. Went back home, but because of your education, experience, and a better English that you have at that time, you managed to get another opportunity in Canada. Yes. Tell me about it. How do you find that opportunity again? To get in? Okay. Before leaving Canada, I already have the profile. So I have the profile. And then, but it was not easy to get the employer. I need LMIA. That's a document that I needed to be able to process and stay in Canada, but I wasn't able to do that. So I have to go home. So, and then I just, I have this profile and then I can send uh, my uh, resume. Your resume, for, yeah. yeah, for the company that has the LMA. I don't know what I don't know what we did with the profile, but there are some 
um, employer that can send me an invitation that they have the LMIA. So it will just, it came to my email. It, it just came like to that, my email, eh? just yeah. like that. But I send a lot of resume. Of so course. CVs. Yeah, I send a lot of CVs. And then there is this one restaurant here in DC that send me their, that they have the document that I need. Sarah, I need you here. You want to come co work for us? And you say, no yeah. problem. <laughs> I, I was ready. All the documents was there. I have my IELTS. I have everything. It was, they are all ready. So you were working in your profile. It's, and that's a good thing because it's not like, a, oh, I leave Canada and I forget about it. No, no, no. You were, no, no. I left Canada, but I'm preparing my profile because I want yeah. to come back to Canada again. Yeah. Right? And that's what you did. Yes, and that's right. a good thing. That's a good thing because I imagine that the fact that you study in Canada, they saw that in your resume. They said, okay, she is studying in Canada. I'm going to She yeah. worked in Canada already. So they already know that you know this Canadian system. Yeah. So I, I I think that for the pro it was not, not hard to, for them to say, okay, Sarah is the girl. We need to call Sarah. We need to interview her. We need to bring her to BC. Yes. <laughs> that's yes. a good thing. That's yeah, a good thing. and get all the papers that you need, you know? get just get all the documents and just be ready i think that's that's my edge like that what happened is the positive side because i was ready the employer that who sent me or the invitation their lmia lmia was almost expiring like oh. only have two months because, you have to right away. Yeah. because i am ready i have everything and that came andy that's picture <laughs> <laughs> i entered the picture that moment sorry. Yeah, okay. you picture because i don't know what to do like okay. I, yeah from there i have so, to ask someone tell me how you get okay i need to i need to get a handy when that when, when that moment happened they say okay I, yeah. need, I need help here what happened because we were in red lobster was working yeah. in red lobster and i know that you are on the immigration you know everything about okay. immigration so i keep that in mind I have that in mind. Going home to the Philippines, I know I have handy and you know things like that. Oh, it was it was hard going back to the Philippines at that time because I was not expecting it to happen that way. Yeah, it's, it's a different picture I'm expecting. Picture, you know, after graduation, everything will be smooth. My mom was a citizen. My brother is a resident. I'm staying in Canada, but it didn't happen. Right, different journey. And then going back, and then I met you. It was late, and I know about you. You are in immigration, and then it was it was very late. <laughs> that's yeah, good. That's good. Like very late. So, but anyways, so I I went home after that. The, my paper was expired, but I have in my mind. Okay, whatever happens, I have Andy to ask everything about it. But I'm doing my stuff in the Philippines, sending CVs and everything like that. So then the LMA came, the employer invited me, and then the part that they are expired, almost done with their their. I need to send all the documents before it's 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 done it's because they're yeah. telling me that it was so hard to get the lmia so because i have no knowledge what to do about it i i approached you about it okay and, yeah it was a pleasure but i something that you said sarah that i really like huh? is that i was ready and i was ready and when the opportunity show up mm -hmm. i just apply and took it yeah and i say that because some people say no until I get a job offer, I will start doing my errands to get my documents. No, 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 no. Oh. You need to do the documents and have everything yeah. ready before the opportunity presents itself. Yes. Because as you said, it can present with a very short period of time to yes. work and apply. Yeah. Yeah. So, so and you'll never it. know. You'll never know when it's coming. One day you'll just open your email. It's there. It's in front of you. And if you don't have anything, it's it will be gone just like that as well. You're Good. not ready. Say so you apply, Andy. I apply to the employer. You come to Canada. Tell me because the situation is happening during the pandemic. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you realize it's not normal times. You are contacting people in the middle of the pandemic with everything is closing around you. Yeah. Tell me about how, how was the experience, sir? Okay, it was. It is like my Canada dream was was not easy. It, it never easy. It was never mm -hmm. easy. Every step of it was never easy. So I got that, I got that um, invitation and the pandemic hits. So I already have everything, but because of pandemic, all the borders was closed. I cannot do my medical. I cannot do 
I cannot do anything. I'm stuck. I was crying. I was like, why? What, what's happening? So, but you know, you just have to deal with it and, and push it. Uh, and and push. just, yeah, mm -hmm. push it. Like, do whatever you can. Don't, don't stop. Just do whatever you can and, and, and pray. Have faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have faith, but do, do, do your work. <laughs> and, and I know that I have it already. We already sent it. But I was as I was very um, because I have the PR right, so I, we we talk about it because I was very confused if I'll do the work visa or the the PR first. Yeah. Then you explain to me everything about it. So we yeah. push with the PR and you process everything about that. But that journey about that the journey of that it was hard because pandemic. I can't get that. I get. I cannot get the. The appointments, I cannot get the documents. Everything was closed. Like no airplanes. Oh God. <laughs> no, no, there was no flight for that. The buses, I don't know. It was chaos. Like I can't I can't remember every day what had happened, but it was it was really bad at that time. Just uh, that's what I said to my clients. If you survive the pandemic, trying to do an immigration procedure during the pandemic. Anything is, is easy after that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything yeah, is easy after yeah, that. Yeah, you're but, right. No, I have to wait. You don't, no, don't, don't complain. Yeah, you yeah. People in the pandemic have to do wait and wait and wait long yeah. since because everything was closed yeah. during that time. But since that is over, in the meaning yeah. that the process are getting later, it's still some delays, but it's better than during the pandemic, 2020, yeah. 2021. Then you come to Canada, you arrive in Canada. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Think about the experience coming back. I imagine that I go, wow, I made it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a second. <laughs> Tell you me about this. I don't know what's how to explain that, but literally I was crying. I was it was tears of joy. When I I came to the airport when, when we landed, I was teary eyed. It was yeah, it was cheesy. It was like, oh, you're overacting, but you don't know the feeling. You were not in my shoes of how what how I was able to come back here. I waited for like two years before coming back. I was. Do you there. cry more when you arrive to Canada or when you got the approval? Uh when I, I came back. Actually, okay, okay. <laughs> I, was like, when I, I was stamped on Canada again because I, I can't believe it that I'm I'm back. Okay. But, <laughs> I was like the approval. Of my, are you talking about my approval of my work visa? With work permit, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I mean. Like, how was, was the reaction when you got the work permit? Yeah, I was happy. Of course, I was happy because my my father that died at that time. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it's, 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 and it was like I don't know. It was designed very well. My life was designed very well from that time because after two weeks, my father died. I came. I I, I had the work visa, so I was happy. I was like okay, but the security was I am in Canada. That feeling, you know, oh, oh this is it. I, made it. I, I am made back. It. I am back. back. This is it. <laughs> You're like a terminator. I'll be back. I'm back. Yeah, I am back. <laughs> I am here now. It it was overwhelming. It was like I have nothing but just being grateful and just thankful that I am back because I didn't no. expect it will happen again. It's just the resort of your perseverance. You persever persevere, yeah. you were yeah. working there and pushing, pushing, pushing until yeah. you yeah. feel the way. And that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Then you in BC having, you know, enjoying the new opportunity now with an employer that want to, to help you and mm -hmm. you've been working. And tell me what happened then after starting a few months working back. In so it's, uh, I'm back after like two years of waiting. I am, I am blessed because I am with great people uh they're very kind and um yeah i'm 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 in a good place in a good hands uh and then uh, they're very supportive they're very happy when i got my residency they're they're just awesome people you know they, they appreciate they appreciate you I, I just feel good and uh it's meant to be it's, it's meant, meant to be yeah all the sacrifices for for a reason <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was it was not easy again you know you're starting all over again andy we're starting again to to have that culture within you again uh the language it, it's it, it's not that hard to, compared to, to the first when time. I started, you know the yeah, first time i had yeah. but it was tough it was hard that i am alone 
because when I was in school, I have my family, I have everybody, and I have my support system. Yeah. But this time, it's the real world. Like I am living on my own. I have to yeah. survive on my own. It's just I'm so lucky to have these people. The people that really support you. Yeah, that's, that's very good. Very good. They would ask me, "How am I?" They make sure that you know I'm comfortable. I I am okay, and I'm I'm just blessed with that. But but you know, as as who you are alone, living alone, and no one you're used to having the family just beside you, and now living on your own, it's kind of you have to get used to it. But that's a challenge that many immigrants have to go through, Sarah. Is that you know sometimes you oh I want to go with my uncle live yeah, but the opportunities show up yes on the other side of the of the country. <laughs> But that's if you are open minded, you're not. I don't want to do the sacrifice, eh? mm -hmm. but I know eventually I'm going to be back to my family again because yeah. you have a permanent resident in British Columbia, you can travel now to Canada and, and visit your family. And eventually, once you become a citizen, yes. you're a citizen of Canada, then I say, yeah. Okay, get yeah. ready my house, I'm going to be moving next to you. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so be but ready. But the good thing is your independence, my okay. independence, you know, you, you can decide on your own, you can eat whatever you want because you're alone, you know, things like that. But, uh, but yeah, somehow you, you, you want to have family, but it's a challenge. You just have to, you know, conquer it, just a bump in the road, but you will be okay for sure. Exactly. The important thing is you're in Canada, you accomplish your, your, yeah, your dream yeah. of coming to Canada now with permanent residency now. It's, yeah. Is the, 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 the greatest goal, and then you know that in a few years after citizenship will come your way, perfect. And yeah. beside that, you have a support of good people that you find the employer and the area that you have right now in Canada, mm -hmm. apart from the family, but with a good support list of, of new friends that you have made during the process. So, I yeah. think for, for you, Thyra, it's been a win win situation after all these challenges that you have in the past, and, and that's the something that any immigrant need to think about. Eh? It can be tough in the process. The journey oh, can yeah. be tough. Yeah, yeah. It can be tough yeah. in the journey. But at the end of the day, you accomplish the goal. And from there on, since you start getting you now, yeah. yeah, it's life, of course, but at least you have the security of, okay, I have, I'm, I have a status in Canada. No more to worry about permits anymore. I'm already I, per yeah. I already have a PR. Yeah. And so <laughs> now I always make my life the way I want it. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. What would be the message that you will tell people that are like you right now in the Philippines, in other countries? Eh? Mm -hmm. I want to see Canada as a destination for the dream uh, as an immigrant. What would you say would be the best practice for them? That see that you from your heart, we're okay. You need to do this, this, this before you think about Canada. Um, if you want it, do it. If you want it, believe in it and work hard for it. It's not easy. Never, never ever think that it's easy. It's never, it's never easy. But if you, if you believe in it, if you work hard for it, it is possible. Nothing is impossible. Just keep going. Just keep going. Have that faith, because that's what I did. That's where I hold on. My faith. Yeah. That it is. That it, I, 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 I will get it. I will get it one day. Okay. Uh, just like anybody, I was almost giving up. Well, if it, if it's for you and it's for you, yeah, exactly. If you work in that, that, that that's your goal, and you keep your eyes on that goal, you will get it eventually. Yeah. And especially with your situation, because mm -hmm. studying Canada, working Canada, you know, the the visa didn't uh, the, the visa was so short, they didn't give you time to do everything inside. Yeah. Leave Canada, but you never give up. You was ready, ready for an opportunity. The opportunity show up. You were ready. Yeah. And then right. you came back to Canada, and that's yeah. that's the scene. You live in the dream and working for the dream until you get that, that dream come, coming true. Yes. And that's what I think everybody has to follow, Sarah, in in that regard. Mm -hmm. Never give up and be ready. I like I like when you say I was ready, Andy. Yeah, be ready, ready. Ready. Yeah. You never know we're gonna show up the opportunity. Yeah. It was so, a big thing. Yeah, being ready. It was really a big thing. Yeah. Good. If I was not ready, and their LMIA was expiring. That opportunity was gone, and I don't think I'll be able to get another one. I think this is my last straw. This is my last option. This was my last. This is what it's them. That's why I'm I'm forever grateful for them because 
if it's not for their offer, I don't think I'll be able to come back and have this life now. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. And probably it's a good reason. Eh? It's just they show up in the right moment. Okay. Yeah. This is yeah. the right moment. And have you said you're happy with them as employers? They treat you well? It's the right, or the right employer also who call you. <laughs> So yeah, you yeah. never know everything was kind of planned. Like, you never know. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm so surprised. You just Excellent. have to be ready with it and embrace it. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah. So, Sarah, uh, 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 the last words you want to say, something final to close, because really, uh, I really appreciate that you tell us your experience in Canada. And I appreciate that you, you, you know, you are an example of when you work hard and you put your, you know, your mind yeah. to go to Canada, it's yeah. possible. It's not easy. That's why I don't believe uh, any video say immigrate easy to Canada. No, that's not oh, easy. Oh, it's a big problem. It's, it's, it's never easy. <laughs> but as far as you're clear about it's not easy and you prepare yourself for that. Uh, yeah. You get your English, you prepare your documents, you, yeah. you get a good work experience, then you get any, any anything you can accomplish in Canada. And that, yeah. that, that's a good thing. Yeah. Any last word from you to the. To the um, to the, I would say thank you to Andy. Thank you for <laughs> the big, big help. And always, you know, you're always open. When every time I ask you on something, you're so easy to talk with and you explained everything to me. So everything was just so smooth and you're all thank you for your patience. Uh, and to people, uh, just be brave, you know, be brave and uh, face the world. If you want it, go for it. And <laughs> That's true. Go for it. Never you know? stop. Never stop. Yeah. Yeah. Never stop. Don't stop. And, I, and, and, I, and what you, uh, like you said, uh, when you say about Canada, I'll be back. And you will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm back. I'm yes, back. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank, thank you very much, Sarah. Uh, thank, uh, enjoy the, the rest of the evening in British Columbia. And hopefully, if people don't know about British Columbia, they can probably, you know, uh, ask questions later about British Columbia and because you believe in two nice provinces, Ontario yeah, and British Columbia. Yeah. Right? Now you be back in be... Ontario soon. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's a plan. That's a plan. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sarah. Have a great night. And we'll keep in touch. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Bye guys.